I recently completed the Wilderness Elite Diaries, which gives me access to a pretty great money-making method in the Wilderness, which is that you get noted dragon bone drops from dragons in the Wilderness. You may know from Fremi Elite Diaries that you get the noted Dagonoth bones, which was pretty much the same in the Wilder Elite, except that you get them from dragons in the Wilderness. Now, back like two years ago, I made a video called 2500 Casts at Lava Dragons, where I used a full trident charge thing like all 2500 charges at lava dragons and i made some pretty decent profit now what i wanted to try now that i have the wilderness elite done is i want to do another full 2500 charges or casts at lava dragons except this time with the wilderness elite done and obviously with the noted lava bones to see how much profit i can make and how much time i can do it in so here we have all these supplies for a fully charged trident which is 12,500 fire runes 2500 uh Zolar scales death runes and chaos runes so we're going to go ahead and use that all on the trident and these cost me about 1.4 mil so os buddy guide price 1,390,000 gp to buy all these supplies now before getting into my setup and my inventory and all that stuff i just want to tell you guys now that there's definitely a multitude of ways to do this everybody sort of does this their own way i guess so one way may be better than the other one way may not be better than the other this is just how i personally did it and i i guess sort of found success with it but i'm sure there's other ways to do it and if you guys have maybe a setup you think I should try out, let me know in the comments below. So my setup was pretty cheap. It really just consisted of black dehyde, occult necklace, DFS, toxic trident, rune gloves, a ring of wealth imbued for increased elite chance at lava dragons, and then some diary cape or some diary items, which I can get for like 200 GP if I die again. So it's really not that big of a deal. Now you don't really have to focus on any mage bonus gear because you hit still very well on the lava dragons with like negative mage bonus. So it really wasn't that big of a deal for me to bring items that I guess would potentially let me hit higher. Th this setup is perfectly fine for getting fast kills. It's really not that big of a deal. So I'm, my method to get to the Lava Dragons was basically going to level 44 ports by using that Gorak Teleport, and then from there I set my destination to the level 35 ports in the Wilderness, and then from there I just ran uh, pretty simply to the east and was at the Lava Dragons. I just had to hop over that shortcut, I guess, stone in the middle of the lava, and I was at Lava Dragons, so pretty simple. Now, there are a lot of safe spots, especially on the southern part of the Lava Dragon Isle, so all I did was just stand in this group of skeletons right here. And then a nice little trick that you can do to maybe increase kills per hour is if you are by yourself in the area, basically get three dragons that are in this area that are around you and just attack them all once with the trident. And then just focus on one after that. But the other two that you attacked will slowly uh, die to the venom because you obviously poisoned them with your toxic trident. So when you finish the one kill, you're going to be on the other one already. And it's going to be like a quarter HP down already, which obviously uh, increases the kills per hour, which is pretty nice. So at this point, there isn't really much else to say other than that I just pretty much killed Lava Dragons until my inventory is full. And then once I killed them, I hopped back over the rock, ran south, used my teleport to Edgeville, banked everything, and then ran back and completed you know, continue the process. So it's pretty simple. Now, one thing that I could have done and that I may make another video on to see if this is potentially more kills per hour or lets me stay there longer, is that what you can do is you can actually bring runes there for tan hide and then bring a needle and thread and craft the black dragon leather or black dragon hide that you get into black dragon leather and then craft them into black dragon hides, uh, which you can then either bring back to the bank or you can alloc on the spot. Now, this it lets you stay there longer, obviously, because you are turning all those hides into black D hides, which only take, or black D hide bodies, which only take up one slot, which is really nice. That being said, you are staying there for longer, which means there's a better chance that you're going to be PK'd some, by somebody. And if you're there for a long time and you have a lot of black D hides in your inventory, uh, you have a lot of loot stacked up pretty much, and you get killed, you are losing a lot of money, which is half the reason why I didn't really try it out. I wanted to stay just with the very basic Lava Dragon, I guess set up at the moment which is just getting the lava dragon bones and getting the black hides and then leaving not really doing any of this 10 leather and stuff but uh that's definitely an interesting way to do it. and if you guys have done it let me know what kind of profit you're making obviously because uh, i'm interested and i'm sure it might be a little bit more power but obviously just the risk involved in that i feel like it's just a little too much especially with the amount of pkers that you see at lava dragons now i did kill the lava dragons in world 361 and world 349 those are the two main worlds i used and those are 2000 plus total level worlds where you do really see fewer PKers. However, I did still die a few times to 2,000 total level teams and also some uh, some solo PKers that I maybe perhaps brought to forgot to bring a charge glory. Uh, so yeah, that's unfortunate. So I did lose um, a little bit of loot, I'd say. Luckily, I never really died when I had a full inventory. I mainly died when I killed max like six or seven Lava Dragons. So I probably lost around, I don't know, 200, 300K worth of loot total to the PKers. So not really too bad. But other than that, it's uh, it was really nice having the noted bones because you can stay there for a long time and just focus on um, 
just picking up the other loot, which is nice. And the looting bag obviously makes a big difference for your trip time as well. I did lose my looting bag a couple times, which means that I had to do some shorter trips where I can only kill six or seven dragons since I didn't have the looting bag, which sort of sucks. But they drop it pretty, pretty consistently, so it really wasn't that big of a deal. Now, the one thing that annoyed me was that I did not get a single Onyx Bolts drop from an entire 2500 charges, which is sort of annoying. I'm pretty sure I almost got every other drop here, except obviously for the Draconic Visage. Yeah, I am almost positive I got every single drop here, except for Onyx Bolts tips. Now, Onyx Bolts tips are an uncommon drop at Lava Dragons, but so are Dragon Javelin Heads, Law Runes, Blood Runes, Death Runes, Renite Bolts, and Runite ni or Rune Knives. And I got plenty of those drops. Like, we're talking six, seven times I got those drops each, but I didn't get a single Onyx Bolt tips drop, which is sort of annoying because I think it is the best drop you can get at, at Lava Dragons, except for the Draconic Visage. Sorry, Visage, I'm saying that wrong. Uh, which is really annoying because I feel like my GP per hour would have gone up in an insane amount if I had just gotten three or four Onyx Bolt tips drops, but no, I didn't get a single one. Uh, 12 Onyx Bolt tips is 100k in the GE, and that is an uncommon drop, and every other uncommon drop here is worth between 5 to 20k, which obviously is a huge difference and sort of like annoy me a little bit that I didn't get a single one because I see people get them here all the time. I'm not sure if the drop rate of Onyx Bolt tips was decreased, but I didn't get a single one, which was a little bit weird to me. So I, I honestly think that I took down my GP per hour a little bit, uh, as you guys can see in the final loot here in a few moments. But uh, yeah, guys, pretty simple from here. I just collected loot and went back and forth. Not much else I want to show you. Uh, yeah, I did die a couple times, but like I said, I didn't lose that much loot to the PKers. So let's get to the loot. So here is the final loot from 2500 charges at Lava Dragons. I managed to kill 145 Lava Dragons. I'm not sure if that's good or not, but that's how many I killed. It is obviously a bit lower than it should have been because I died a couple times, but that's no big deal. Still managed to kill 145. Now this whole thing took me maybe two hours, two and a half hours. It really wasn't too bad. It did help that I didn't get PK'd that much, but the fact that I didn't have a looting bag for some of the kills made the trips a little bit longer. Uh, than they should have been so that's why maybe it took a little bit longer but if i hadn't died in a single time and i had my looting bag the entire time this really doesn't take that long uh, and i think the gp per hour is pretty good but here we have the entire loot no draconic visage obviously one day it's gonna happen but it didn't happen uh during this challenge but we're gonna go ahead and sell everything quickly so at the end of selling everything we managed to make 2,691,367 GP. So we started off with it was 1.4 million. So in total, we managed to make, make 1.2 mil profit off this. Obviously, I'm going to bring that down a little bit because uh, what I say, 1.2 mil profit. So more like 1.1 mil, maybe 1 mil profit. So I did use uh, supplies to get away from PKers occasionally, like the Cerebrews, the Sharks, and the Gorak teleports, some stamina potions, stuff like that. So in total, it was uh, maybe like 1.1 1 .1, 1 mil, 1.1 mil profit. And that comes to maybe like 506k, 500k to 600k an hour, which I feel like is a bit low. I really feel like it should be higher. I either did something a little bit wrong or really didn't help that I didn't get that great of a drops, like any Onyx Bolt tips drops. And also that uh, I didn't have a looting bag for some of the kills, which... Uh, was a little bit annoying but yeah anyways guys that was my loot from the lava dragons i may try it again with the whole tanning the leather and making them into black dragonite bodies and i may try it again and see if i don't get killed at all because i think that did affect my gp per, P, P, ew, GP per hour a little bit but uh yeah anyways that's what the video i have for you guys and i'm gonna try it again with green dragons in the wilderness because i feel like those are potentially better money per hour since you kill them so quickly and you pretty much have no chance of dying uh, when you're at Green Dragons. So I'm going to be looking forward to that video. And if you guys want to see that, make sure to drop a like on the video. Uh, and that'll really help me out. And uh, yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. And peace. Oh my god, PKers are actually like so stupid in this game. It blows my mind. It's actually my favorite thing, seeing people just fail. Thank you.